I'm a first generation college student. I came here directly from, from high school into San Jose State. Now, originally when I came, I was a biomedical engineer. So I like science, I still like science to this day. And it was a mix of engineers, which I always, I always love like the innovation and the, and the ingenuity of engineering. Um, so I, you know, that was like my first choice. When I first got here, you know, I studied it and did my research more detailed into it. And I found another major, um, actually industrial systems engineering. And I felt like that major like identified with me more and it, it catered more towards like my skills and my strengths. And I felt like I could have more of an impact with the industrial systems engineering. Okay, my internship was in San Francisco. Um, it was with a company, a startup company uh, called Project Frog. Project Frog is like a, a company that's almost they construct buildings like a Lego set. So if you got like this piece right here and you just have this piece, you can just connect it, snap it into two. And it's not like you have to build it from the ground up. And you know, it's not on site. Everything that they build is like from vendors. So they order it, they bring it to site, they just snap it together and just keep going. So my specific role was um, to basically process improvement, it was process improvement, which is uh, an aspect of industrial systems engineering. The project we were working on was building an elementary school. So for that elementary school, we had to look at the entire process, the end-to-end -end process, what they call it, from the time they were awarded a contract until the time when kids were able to sit in the seats and actually learn from the teachers. So throughout my, my internship, we, you know, we looked at the entire process map and our goal was to eliminate 20% of waste. That means um, waste is like wasted time, you're wasting energy, you're wasting money. And you know, I basically managed that process. Um, I collaborated with a lot of the workers, the people who actually worked at the company. And I met a lot of great people. Um, I learned a lot of skills. So, you know, overall, I really value, I really value this internship. So this was actually, this was my second internship, official internship, and usually, like, before this one, I did a lot of searching. I came to the Career Center a lot and searched the internet. Sometimes I didn't get a response, um, but it was okay. I never really stopped. Um, it wasn't until I got a message from my department, the Industrial Systems Engineering Department, and they, they notified me about this position. And as soon as I, I, I got the message, it wasn't a phone number on there, but you know, I, I looked it up and I understood the description of what they were looking for. I felt it fit me. So I really, I did my research and I found a number to where I can call. I just called anyone at the company. They picked up, they answered, um, and they scheduled two interviews. One was a phone interview with, it was two, two people interviewing me on the phone. And the second interview was in person at, on, the, on the site. So when I, when I got my first internship, I was classified as a biomedical engineer. So um, included in that was like a lot of lab work, a lot of, um, you, know, you know, doing a lot of research. And my first internship was in a lab, in a scientific lab. So we did DNA extractions and we did a lot of pipetting and test tubes and a lot of experiments inside the lab. Um, it was a great experience, you know, nothing wrong with it, but I learned a lot from it. I learned what I like and I learned what I didn't like. Um, a lot of what I did in that internship was like by myself or, you know, I spent a lot of hours in a lab, just me. I'm not communicating with people like the, I'm in dark rooms <laughs> with goggles on and, you know, with, uh, you know, different layers on. And I really felt like I learned what I didn't like. You know, I feel like it's good to know what you do, what you like, but it's good to know what you didn't like. And from that, I learned like, okay, this is this may not be what I want to do. Not only like what I want to do in the job field, but like what type of major I want to major in. So after that, I changed my major to industrial systems engineering, and I got an internship this past summer where I learned 
and I, I got to work in a capacity of, a, of like a manager or a project manager and I got more interaction with people which I didn't get in the first one it was like I was I would be in a room and it's totally dark and I would walk outside and the sun hurts and it, it was it, it wasn't something I wanted to do for the rest of my life so an internship gave me the ability to see what I don't want and what I don't want to do so that led to me changing my my major into something where I can communicate with people more and you know I can I can have more of a, I feel like more of an impact something that fits me better so you know that I got both ends of the spectrum I guess you I guess you could say yeah My advice would be to be persistent. I think persistence is a very, very important thing when you're looking for um, an internship. Just knowing also, knowing like what position fits you and like fits your, your, your skills and your powers and your strengths because you just don't want to apply for anything just for the sake of having an internship. You want to apply for something where you feel like you can gain something from the experience and also you can add value to whatever you're, you know, whatever you're doing. Um, so I would say, yeah, be persistent. Look for something that you're interested in and that you can have an impact on. And, um, you know, have confidence. Just believe you can do it. You know, you may not hear back or you may not get a response, but don't let that deter you or stop you. Um, just keep moving forward and, you know, it'll turn out good. Yeah.